Hi everyone, it's Dee's from Turtle Dove. I hope you're all having a good day or night wherever you are. Um, today I'm coming to you with a video on tools that I wouldn't be without. So let's get uh, right into it. Um, what should I start with first? I'll start with this little set. It's work zone. And I bought this from Aldi. It was only ten dollars. I've got an actually another two sets, and this one is a filing set. It's a little handheld filing set. Um, I have a little saw set and a drill set, but I haven't used those a lot at all. But I have used this one, um, and I'll just quickly open it for you. Like I said, it was only ten dollars a set, and this one is round, and they're metal files. Now, before this, I used to use uh, my metal emery board, or just my, um, you know, just like an emery board like this, um, just to whenever I needed it. But since getting this, yeah, I wouldn't be without this now. And they they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, this one has three sides to it and the other ones, some of them are wide and some are narrow. Some, This one has a point at the end. Um, so yeah, you wouldn't believe actually the things that you could do with this. This one's a little bit wider and it does have a little handle which I don't actually use. Um, I've used it a couple of times because normally the jobs that I do with it are, are small and quick. So it's just easy for me to grab it and use use it by the end there but that is one thing that I wouldn't be without now that I've got it especially um, what next okay now pliers I have an assortment I've only got oh, I don't have a real lot of um, these is these I bought for jewelry making, which I don't use a real lot um, for jewelry making, but I do use it to cut wires of all sorts and um, uh, like. I'll just get it out so that I show you just um, things like this, like little gems that you can cut because they have the wire cutters in them and they're also good for picking little tiny things up so you can use them for an assortment of things and they come in different sizes so these are the only ones that I've got this one's got a, a more of a point to it but they've all got the little the cutter right there so that's another thing that I wouldn't be without um, yeah they're sometimes better than tweezers. Um, tweezers can be quite cumbersome actually and these just hold on better in my opinion. Uh, also, I'm just turning around, I've got this little table next to me with all my stuff in on there to show you. So these are hole punches and they come in different sizes. I've only got these two at the moment. Um, but this one here is really small and they're not very expensive either there's the hole on that one and this one's a little bit bigger or is that the small no this one's a small one sorry there we go so they are good for tags and all sorts of things um yeah so i wouldn't definitely wouldn't be all about those a gas lighter now that is um, really handy to have um, when you cut ribbon and you want to seal the ribbon. You can either use like a fabric glue to seal it so it doesn't fray or you could run this over really, really quickly. You've got to be careful because it can melt and burn um, and of course it can be dangerous if you're not careful. So I just whiz that past the end as quick as I can and that all that's all it takes to sort of seal the, the ribbon. So I wouldn't be without that. I've used that quite often. Um, now this 
is like a finger exacto knife. I don't know what you call it, but it's from Friskers. Fiskars, sorry. Fiskars. <laughs> Friskers. Um, this has a little cover because it's very sharp. And um, I've used this well before I bought my paper cutter with the, the scorer. Um, only thing with this, you do have to get used to using it. As I said, it's very sharp. And um, if you're cutting in a straight line, you've got to make sure this is angled towards the... Um, I'll just get it towards the ruler. So I always use a metal ruler. It can cut into plastic. Um, and you just got to get the feel of it because if you're not careful, it's so sharp it can run away from the cut or the line that you want to cut. So that is good. Um, and you can change the blades on this. So while I've got my rulers out, definitely wouldn't be without rulers. And you all know why, I don't have to explain that. Um, I don't have small rulers. Sometimes these can be cumbersome if you're just working with something small and you've got a measure. Um, so definitely going to get myself a couple of smaller rulers. Um, now this little contraption here, um, quite a while ago I was watching a craft channel and I can't remember her name. It was just, it was a random um, video that I watched uh, and she was using these. Um, so that she doesn't burn herself with um, the hot glue and it is a really good idea you know when you have to push the glue down and um, you know to help it adhere to whatever it is you're gluing it to and you want to because it can be hot glue as you know it's quite thick so you want to sort of push that down the amount of times that I've um, received blisters from hot glue um, but this can save your fingers I haven't seen on YouTube, I have seen um, ladies wear special um, finger protected things. I don't even know what you call them, but I haven't seen them here. Um, so this is the next best thing. You just, you can use this and the silicon will protect you. But it actually is a cosmetic tool used to apply masks. <laughs> so anyway, I think that is a really good thing to have. And I, silly me, it's right next to me sometimes and I still use my fingers. But, yeah, I, I do use that though. Um, scissors. You can get a big assortment of scissors. You can get precision scissors. You can get the straight scissors. You can get scissors for paper. You can get scissors for fabric. You can get all sorts. Of, these are jagged scissors. These I bought years and years ago, and they're so they're like new almost. I haven't used it a lot. I bought this before I bought a sewing machine. I think I mentioned that in another video. This one's a birch, so yeah, it was expensive for the time, but well worth it. Um, and these are some cheap scissors, just for paper. Again, um, the jagged ones. I have a few more, but they're not. I don't know where they are. Um, but yeah, like I said, and these ones are different again. So I think we all need scissors, so I wouldn't be without those. And um, speaking of hot glue before, I wouldn't be without my glue gun. This is um, this would be up there, almost number one, and what I wouldn't be without. Um, definitely and especially the precision glue guns I wish they had a more precise glue gun because this can still be cumbersome with like very small projects but I guess with the small projects you just use a normal glue um, but yeah I have used I've been through so many glue sticks and in fact this is my second gun of the same um, my other one carked it finally but I use them all the time so I would love to get one of those giant glue guns with the the really big long glue sticks um, that would be good for the bigger projects I guess because um, you'd go through a lot of glue 
So that is definitely on the list. Now these little wax pencils, I call them, this is actually a nail art tool and or I've seen them with those diamond um, what do they call them you get the picture and you get little gems and you stick them and make make a, a pretty picture uh, but anyway these are really really good for picking up all sorts of gems and the way I use it I use it just like a pencil um, I just sharpen it and that way you get a bit of a point um, so that you can pick up very very small gems with that and this one it was actually quite long and I've used up a lot of it but it broke so I've made two pencils out of it and it's just got like this sort of plasticky paper cover to it so yeah I just sharpen it like I do a pencil and I've had this for years and it lasts a long time okay my dotting tools which is um, another nail art tool and um, these particular ones are just to paint flowers on your nails um, they have different balls on the end on both sides some are small and others are a lot bigger and I find these good for um, just manoeuvring things, precise things. Um, and also you can make indentations in paper. These are a bit small to make those flowers. Oh, this one's not too bad. Um, but I know that in the craft community I've seen ladies use particular tools like this that is specifically made for paper. So it sort of makes an indent. In, in flowers and things like that and um, so I'll have to get that as well I don't have one of those but these are a lot the same sort of thing but on a smaller scale so still I've used these for all sorts of things um, now my scorers now this is a recent thing that I wouldn't be without now that I've got it um, I've only recently just I don't know over the last couple of two or three months bought um, a cutting board with the scoring tools and making cards and things that I've been doing now I definitely wouldn't be without these um, so that's made the list getting there oh right next to me I have my paint brushes um, I have another jar on my shelf next to me um, but some of these are so old. I used to do folk art in the 90s and um, some of these, like these pink ones here, I'm going to drop them everywhere. They are very old. They would be 15 to 20 years old maybe. Um, And I used to paint a lot of flowers and plants and things like that. So you have stickle brush, round brushes, angled brushes of all sizes. Um, this one is, I think, probably the oldest and I still use it a lot. And this was good for watercolours. Um, just wiping. It holds a lot of liquid. So it was good for washing over the, the um, can, uh, paper. Um, and it's so soft so that was that's my favorite brush of all so yeah all these different brushes that I've got um, and I use toothbrush old toothbrushes well this wasn't old I think it is actually yes it is um, I've even used this for painting like sprinkling some um, color over paper sounds a bit gross doesn't it but I did clean it it's it wasn't too old that one I didn't like it this is years old too I just didn't like the toothbrush so I kept it but yeah I've got the fan brushes and all sorts here um, brushes can be quite expensive this back then was three dollars fifty um, another three dollars fifty and this tiny tiny little stickle brush 
Um, I'll show you a big one so you can see what they're like. That's an angled stickle brush. And they were good for painting like uh, fur on teddy bears. But that is a tiny, tiny little one. Yeah, so wouldn't be without my brushes. Um, I use the brushes a lot for glue too, but I've got to be really fussy and try and get all the glue out, otherwise you've just ruined your brush. So you've got to be quite good with, if you want your brushes to last, and um, just clean them really well. <laughs> now, these are tools that I've, I got from an ice cream. I don't know if you'd call them tools, but, and this is from like a little yogurt and pot, um, and it folds, and I use these um, when I'm using glitter or glitter glass, the real fine glitter, the, the small spoon's good, and the other glitter, the more chunky glitter or the glitter glass, this is good, so you can just get straight into the jar and sprinkle it on your project. Um, so I'm collecting these um, because they're good to have. Just little things like that. It doesn't have to be expensive things that you use a lot of. Um, and toothpicks. I use toothpicks especially for being precise with um, like E6000 glue. In fact, I've got this long... I don't know if this one's a toothpick, I don't know what you call this one, um, but you can see the glue on the end. So I've always got these on my desk and they're also good to manoeuvre gems around as well um, or just other embellishments on projects to get them where you want them um, before you glue them. So I find they're very handy and my trusted sponge of over 20 years i first bought this it was like huge um and i sponged a feature wall in my last house in the dining room with it um but i kept it and i slowly cut away as i use it uh, for other arty things um so yeah that comes in handy all the time and lastly I have these little funnels and they're good um, for using glitter if I'm or you know if I, I've got a new container and a little packet of glitter just to transfer that into the jar I've used these quite a few times too and I wouldn't be without these now um, so that is it, guys. That is my tools I wouldn't be without, or some of them. There's a lot more, um, but I have to keep it fairly short or people get bored. As it is, I can babble on and on and on. But anyway, just before I go, I'd like to give you a shout out. Or well, not you, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of ladies and just send my best wishes to them. Um, the first one's Sheila uh, from Country Girl First and also Alicia from Alicia's Crafty Hot Block. And sorry Alicia, if I keep saying Alicia with an A, my daughter, her name's Alicia and it's a real tongue twister. <laughs> but anyway, these two ladies have been going through some medical issues so I just wanted to send them my best wishes. And also I want to say hello to... Leanna from It's a Deal. Um, unfortunately, she recently lost a family member. Um, I was quite saddened at that when that happened. Um, so yeah, I hope you're doing okay, hun. And just to let you all know that I'm thinking of you. So everyone, it'd be um, great if you could all sort of just take a moment and send your well wishes, prayers, whatever it is you do um, for everyone who needs it. I think it's nice to sort of reach out to people and let them know you care because I think it makes a big difference anyway. Um, so yeah, a lot of people going through a lot of things at the moment and with everything else going on around the globe as well. So yeah, 2020 is going to be a year to remember, that's for sure. 
So everyone, I'll leave it there. Um, take care, look after yourselves. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.